from Color Grading Central, we have now arrived at the Order of Operation Workflow. The Order of Operation Workflow is the systematic order of steps that will give organization, speed, and efficiency to our color grading and will form the foundation for the rest of our color decisions from here. We don't have to stumble around wondering if the method that we're using is the best approach. Rest assured, I'm going to share with you the same workflow used by top colorists from around the world. The order of operation workflow is divided up into three major stages, the correction stage, looks building stage, and secondary isolation stage. The node based grading in DaVinci Resolve is particularly well suited to this workflow where we can perform each correction stage in a different node. Let's look at how this workflow can be applied to a project. Here in the color page, I have a project that needs color grading. So I'll first begin with the correction stage. In the first node you see here is where I'll perform the basic color correction. Using the primary tools, I'll make some adjustments until I get some nice exposure and color balance. Okay, that looks good. To help us keep track of our workflow, we can give each node a label. To do this, we just simply right click on the node, choose change label, and give it a name. I'll just call this correction our base correction. I will then repeat the same procedure on the remaining clips, going for nice exposure and color bounds. Okay, in the interest of time, I've gone ahead and done this already. Now here's a key tip. Before moving on to the looks building stage, we'll first want to perform shot to shot matching. This will ensure that shots are more likely to match after the look is applied. Jumping into looks creation now will make shot matching more difficult later as we'll be dealing with more nodes and there's a greater tendency to get lost. We can think of our correction stage as our base layer and the looks building stage as our adjustment layer or filter effect. Okay, I've gone ahead and performed shot to shot matching so we are now ready to create our look. I'll pick my hero shot or a clip that's a good representation of all the other clips. Now there's two different ways we can create a look and have it applied to all of our clips. We can either create a look, save it to our stills, and copy the grade to our remaining clips, or we can just combine the clips into the same group, keeping their individual base grade, and apply the look only once. I'm going to choose the latter method because it's easier and it will save time. To create a group, I'll select all the clips in my timeline, right click and choose Create New Group. I will give it a name and click OK. We'll then need to change the node editing mode to Group Post Clip. That way, any adjustments we make from now on will be applied the same way to all the clips in the group. I'll cover using groups in greater detail in a later tutorial. For now, I just want to focus on the grading steps that are involved in the order of operation workflow. And in this case, I believe a bleach bypass look will do nicely for this World War II short. All right, to extend the look even further, I'd like to make the talent's blood stand out even more. We'll create a new node after the bleach bypass nodes, and then to increase the saturation or intensity of the blood, we'll go to the Hoover saturation curve under the curves editor. Add a point to the curve where the blood is with the color picker, and drag up on the point to increase the saturation of the blood. This will make it stand out more. Okay, now that I have the look that I want, we can verify the results going through the other clips. You can see the look has been applied while still maintaining the individual primary or base correction of each clip. The look that we've created has been applied on top of the base correction as sort of a filter effect. Could it get any easier? Now with our color correction, shot to shot matching, and looks building complete, we can perform the last stage of the order of operation workflow and apply a secondary or isolation treatment to add focus to the talent's face. 
Since we're back to making individual adjustments, we'll need to change the node editing mode back to clip. To do that, we'll select clip from the drop down menu in the node editor. To add focus, I'll add a new node. and then add a shape to the talent's face. I'll adjust the size, and then bring up the exposure. I'll simultaneously add an outside node and lower the exposure surrounding the talent. I will then apply the same focus treatment to the talent's face in the other shots. Because we are back in clip mode, we can make these individual adjustments. And that's it! Now, I know we've covered some advanced techniques that we'll cover in later tutorials, but I just wanted to focus on the steps that are involved to give order and organization to our color grading. To summarize, we first perform primary color correction on all of the clips in our project to create a base grade. Next, we perform shot-to-shot -shot matching so that our clips will then match when we later group them together to create the overall look. And lastly, we can perform secondary color correction to add focus, clean things up, or extend the look even further. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that it gives you confidence in making your color decisions. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, or feel free to send me an email. I am here for you. Shut up.